No, Umbra. it's different. Umbra. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, I'm going to call to order the meeting of the Arlington Redevelopment Board on April 7th, 2014. Uh, actually, a uh, pretty short agenda uh, tonight, mostly administrative things uh, to get through. So the first thing um, that I want to go over is the ARB report to town meeting. Um, Carol had uh, done a draft and, and I had made comment and the results of those two things is what was sent out to you uh, early this morning. Sorry about that uh, for the timing of it. But I figured uh, it's not that long so we can go through it live regardless if someone didn't have a chance to review. Um, so, um, so we can go around uh, with comments. Um, what's the best way? You go, go piece by piece, maybe article by article, making sure that, why don't we do that uh, rather than take all the comments. So we'll go article six, which is the uh, medical marijuana treatment center. Uh, first off, did anyone have anything on the front page? Uh, any typos or anything? No? Okay. All right. Um, why don't we go our usual way. Bruce, do you want to start? I had no comments or corrections. I think it's does that read okay? It looks good to me. Okay. Um, one correction, actually, before we start. I uh, uh, unfortunately misremembered. Uh, and and uh, I don't know why I put deputy town manager in the working group. It was actually the town manager. So it, it wasn't both, was it, Carol? I don't recall it. It might be both. both. It could have been that Andrew Flanagan sat in for I think, I think maybe Adam. Me. Let's put both. I'm pretty sure it was both. So why don't I add town manager versus just the leading deputy, because I'm pretty sure it was both. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. Christine, anything on six? No, it looks good to me. Okay. Andrew? That looks great to me. Okay. Awesome. Andy? Okay, great. Um, then moving on to April, uh, oh, April, mm -hmm. Article 7. Uh, which is the uh, John Belskis uh, sponsored uh, um, affordable housing uh, or inclusionary zoning, I should say, uh, requirement percentage. Um, go the same way, Bruce? Uh, no comments on that. Looks fine. Okay. Okay, let me finish reading. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to read. Yeah, no, that's fair. Someone's doing that. Do so on the no actions. Is that the, the usual phraseology that um, that the board recommendation no action, or is it recommended vote, or what's is the phraseology right there? We don't check. do it that often, so right. maybe we should look at an old um, selectman uh, report and just see. Or do we have or one an last old year? Redevelopment yeah, redevelopment board, board. Yeah, where you had a no action recommendation. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just to make sure we get that kind of. Right. My other comment would be sure. that last line, finally the board believes that the master plan exercise is a very good venue to discuss this issue. Yeah. I tossed it in there. Because is exercise the right word? Probably not. I, I did toss it in there because... The master plan process. Process. Maybe. I like that. Yeah, but I wanted to get the point in there that these, yeah. these are the types of things we want to hear from these people about during the master plan process. So much better. Right. So much finally the board point. believes that the master plan... Um, maybe that process the town-wide master sure. plan process yes. is, is, it, is, is, it, is a better venue or something. Is a better venue, yeah. I, I don't think we uh, want to say is a very good venue. Yeah, I agree. And I don't, I don't like venue don't either. Yeah. Yeah. Frankly, yeah. so, so, yeah. Master this planning was, process I, is a good way to... This was a placeholder for the discussion. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Like, how are we going to say this? Master, um, oh. But my, my, my thought was is... A forum? Yeah. Maybe more yeah. appropriate forum? Yeah. Is a more appropriate forum for this discussion? Well, maybe not more at appropriate. The, yeah, it's just at this time. At this time. It's really at this time it's a more appropriate. Um, that's why I was trying to, uh, that's why. Because it's certainly it's something that we might take up in the future. But not in yeah. The future. Yeah. Yeah. Um, believes that at this time the, the master plan process is the best venue for this discussion. Mm, better. Better. We said better form. Pro, uh, better. better form. Is a better form. For better form. discussion better form. of this issue. Of this issue. At this time? 
I think we gotta add this time up here. Leave that at this time. Put that at the end. Put that at the beginning. Oh, finally. finally. The board believes yes. that at this time, the ma the town wide master plan process is a um, what did we say? Better forum for this discussion. Uh, yeah, but you don't. You want to get tie it to the. Yeah, know. I want to be careful because. In the end, it's uh, everything's got to come before town meeting anyway, and you never want to say that town meeting isn't the right forum for something. That's my only concern. Mm -hmm. I don't even like venue for that exact same reason, <laughs> just to be clear. Well, it's um, not really a venue. Uh, oh, uh, how about how about uh, it is? A, uh, I mean, it's going to be discussed during the master uh, plan process, right? Well, it could be. I mean, it should. I guess affordable housing is, is yeah, not going to be discussed. Yeah, the affordable housing. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah idea. The, right. And the board believes that may, may be a better forum for this. Well, how about, to begin oh, wait, this wait, wait. discussion, uh, how about saying <laughs> finally the board believes that um, affordable housing issues are within. Well, we could say is confident that the ma townwide master plan process will address uh, will um, address not uh, or um, consider. Consider, consider. It's, it's even the, even a little we're, bit stronger than consider, right? But but I think that's right. Um, uh, well, it's address or consider. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll consider. Um, this issue as part of the process. Or something. Yeah. Process. Issue. The issue of affordable housing. Oh. Yeah, why don't we do I mean, why, why even give too much? Of it? So, uh, finally, uh, the town wide master plan process will be considering the issue of affordable housing. Um, Yeah, we'll period. Yeah, period. I mean, there's, yeah. A, there's a tendency to want to keep going. Exactly. Like that maybe we better end. Yeah. Right. So yeah. finally, you're taking the board believes that at this time. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that. Just the yeah. townwide yeah. master plan process, process will be considering, considering the issue of affordable housing. housing. Also, in the sentence before, in addition, the current 15 percent, it's not really a sec. It's not really related to the sentence before, actually, or at least I don't see any. Just say, it should be noted that the current 15. Oh uh, yeah, it should be noted. Was that how about, how about, how about we combine the two sentences and we say it should be noted that the current 15 percent that the current uh, it should be noted that the current 15 percent requirement is in line with neighboring cities and town to, uh, towns and that the townwide master plan process will be considering the issue of affordable housing perfect okay yeah. Okay, yep, agreed. Okay, um, I'll read it one more time just so we all kind of agree. So the last sentence is now going to say, it should be noted that the, con the current 15% requirement is in line with neighboring cities and towns and that the town-wide master plan process will be considering the issue of afford affordable housing. Well, it seems like it needs a further, but um, okay. Really Afo affordable housing, period. Good enough. Yeah. Okay, great. Good. That's seven. On to eight on the dark skies uh, bylaw. Bruce? It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Fine. It's fine. Andrew? Yeah, I don't think we had really a change. This first sentence, I mean, this all came from Paul, right? 
Oh, oh right. It's after it's after the inserted. So it's this piece right here, just this little paragraph. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Then. Yeah, no, no, his, we can't change that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Guys. Yeah. That sounds good then. Okay. And then the last one is Article 9. One comment on yep. that, and that is in the fourth line, of, about in the middle of the fourth line, the word in appears twice. Uh -huh. So we can just get rid of one of those. Okay. And substantively, it's fine, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. 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 Great. Um, okay. Good. We'll make those changes, and this will be the report. Uh, except for maybe one more thing that that I wanted to um, to talk about next, which is uh, Warrant Article Twenty Two, the Community Preservation Act. Mm -hmm. Um, and Carol had forwarded along the uh, recommended vote of the uh, selectmen. Mm -hmm. uh, my thought was is, is we could um, take a take a read of, of their vote and figure out whether it's something that we want to uh, support. Mm -hmm. um, do you have an extra of that? I do. I didn't get that one. Or I didn't print it at least. Oops. Excuse me. That's okay. Should we say with the key? Oh, no, I did have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I should have yeah. yeah. That's okay. No, I was just trying to make sure I didn't miss it. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Oh, no, I didn't get it. I just, was just reading the Warren article. That's what I was Right, <laughs> right. The one that came the, 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 the Warren article is long. Yeah. Uh, so this is the uh, Community Preservation Act, uh, which is, they're recommending a 1.5% uh, annual real estate tax levy. Um, and I believe they're they're doing a hundred thousand um, dollar exemption. Exemption, right? The first hundred thousand of value is not uh, subject to this. I believe what Susan told us the last time is that on average it was about eighty six dollars per household. Yes, with that exemption and with one and a half percent. Right, percentage. exactly. If you do the matrix. And that the revenue coming in would be one point two million. Yeah. Is that with the match, or is that just on? That's with the one and a half and the Okay, with the, not, not counting what the state would check that? No. Okay. And she, I think she said last year it was, uh, it was about 50% on the state because they actually allotted uh, budget to it, right? In right. addition right. to yes. the recommendation yeah. uh, surcharge or whatever. Yeah. It, interestingly, I thought it would be kind of fun to try to figure out exactly how much money Arlington residents are paying on the document surcharge oh, yeah. registry deeds. So I did some very, very rough sort of back of the envelope calculations and mm. I found, uh, I think in 2012, there were a total of about 550 residential transactions, <laughs> sales transactions. Okay. And on average, that would probably generate about $70 per transaction of CPA recording surcharge at the registry. So that would mean $35,000 that Arlington residents paid into the CPA surcharge. And if you figure uh, roughly the same number of refinances that year, uh, maybe generating about $20 less per transaction because there's usually not a deed right. involved, um, there's about another $25,000. So probably 60000 conservatively estimated, because we're not taking into account commercial transactions, mm -hmm. was paid by Arlington residents for their real estate transfers in one year. We don't get any of that money now because we're not right. a CPA participating community. So that's money that, in effect, a portion of our population is already paying a tax on, getting no benefit from whatsoever. Well, you know, no direct benefit to Arlington. If you like, if you like historic space preservation yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. or open space in Concord, yeah. yes, we're, we're helping support that. But, um, so, you know, that may be relevant. Um, you know, and, and again, the numbers are kind of guesswork and kind of fuzzy, but I, I think I'm in the right range. Um, so, you know, it's kind of an interesting argument, I think, in favor of the CPA. It'd be a good uh, argument for Susan to put forth when she presents this. I'm assuming she's presenting it to town meeting. She could probably even boost it up at the commercial. Give me some lessons. Yeah. Yeah, push it up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Susan. Yeah, she's here.
how the people from sure could help with that. Yeah. If you figure we've been paying that roughly every year. Yeah. Right. Since oh, yeah. it started, which was. Oh, yeah, back in 2000 or 2001, One. whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah. So that's 13 years of that. That's a lot of money. Um, yeah. Any, uh, anything else, Bruce? Or well, no, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what we want to do with it, but, I, you know, I. I support the effort uh, mm -hmm. of, of the proponent, and I think it's. Um, I, I think it would be a good thing for Arlington to adopt, and I especially like the fact that um, we are taking a little bit of a half step. We're not doing the full three percent um, surcharge on the property tax, and we have uh, the exemptions for the first hundred thousand dollars of the value, and also the exemption for uh, people of low or moderate income. Uh, senior housing, so uh, I think it's it's pretty well crafted. I agree. I think it's an excellent idea, and I'm I'm surprised we haven't passed it yet. You know, it's been out there since 2001, and there, I guess there's a committee that was formed to study it in 2001. I saw that on the Warren articles that came in the mail, where they list all the different. That was one of them. That CPA was one was of them, and it was the 2001 CPA wow. committee that caught my eye. So. Yeah. The committee's probably been trying. Well, maybe it did before. Maybe it did at yeah. one point, got shot down. Yeah. I don't know if anybody was a town meeting member back then. But I, I don't recall it, to be honest with you, ever coming up. I, well, I, I recall there was a discussion about CPA, but as we talked about last time when Susan was here, it, in my mind, what I remembered is more in the context of this um, community development block grants. Mm -hmm. so, somehow it came up in that. Um, but I don't ever remember like an up and down vote on CPA at all since I've been in it for the last um, 12 years. So. Mm -hmm. Just working in the communities around here, there are, is so much work that's coming out that's CPA funded. Yeah. That that I work on, you know, from parks and recreation to historic sites to parts of streetscapes, mm -hmm. you know, all kinds of. Yeah. Yeah. Out there, Even so. knowing that it might offset some of what needs to be done with the high school, I think it's helpful. Mm. Right. That alone, uh, right. I think, is, right. is persuasive. I mean, I would recommend that we take a vote or in support, or however you want to. I try. would like to, yeah. Yeah. If we're all in support. I, I think so, and I, I'll, I'll add two other things <clears throat> that I think are important. Number one is, is I do think that the places where this, uh, that you can fund from this, are really the ones that um, in town meeting, it looks like they're always on the bottom of mm -hmm. the funding because it, you can let those things slide a little bit more. And so it's nice to have, uh, you know, a, a pool of money that you can actually use for those. I think the other important thing with the CPA is that it's got to go in front of the voters. Mm -hmm. You know, and so from that perspective, it makes a lot of sense to support the passing of it. And I, I like that argument that Susan had is kind of like, for me, that means my constituents get to speak to it. So, you know, I think it, I think it makes sense regardless. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so, so yeah, I think um, uh, the wording of of the vote maybe could be. Um, uh, I don't. I think endorse is probably the wrong word. I think uh, um, supports um, the, the selectman's um, recommended vote. Um, I think that's that's it on Article 22. I mean, we can we can you know spruce it up a little bit in the report because because then what I want to do is I would actually put it in our report. Mm -hmm. uh, put the we can just do the same thing, Carol, and say Article 22 with just the um, phrase up here, and say that um, uh, that the board voted uh, to. Um, in support of uh, the selectman's recommended vote, period. That way, it's that way we're on record within our own report. Without need of any um, narrative summary. I mean, we could, but I like their narrative. Yeah, I mean, their narrative. Their narrative's, their narrative's good. good. I'm not sure, you know, why why we would need to add to it. I think their narrative hits all the points that we just. Discussed. Yeah, exactly. So I think. So you're not saying duplicate it, just. No, no, no. Just yeah. say, just say, yeah. in support of the recommended vote as well as the reasons for it or mm -hmm. something like that. Okay. Maybe maybe that's what we can put. The comments and the reasons. Yeah. 
Uh, so if someone wants to make okay, that motion, so I will move that the ARB uh, vote to support the recommended vote of the Arlington Board of Selectmen with and the recommended vote and the rationale well, of the Board of Selectmen with respect to Article 22, the acceptance of the Community Preservation Act. Can we say unanimously voted? Yes, we can say um, that we unanimously supported it. If that's supported. what we do. Is there a second? I second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, and I think that's what we'll put in there. That's we great. do say at the beginning of our, our of our report that all of the votes were taken were unanimous, but I think it's important in this one yeah. to say that it was to repeat uh, it. To repeat it. Yeah. So I agree. Great. I can try to draft something up on that too, Carol. Okay. I mean, or if you either way. So. Um, oh, it's too bad Susan's two. flyer doesn't say that this was the presentation that was made was videoed, and that it's online. Well, maybe that preceded it. Because a lot of people aren't going to understand what this it. is still, what yeah. the CPA is. I, I, and that you know presentation what? was very... I think the good news is there, hopefully she's going to get up early in the meeting, because it's mm -hmm. Article 22. So if she gets up early enough in the meeting and gets that um, out there, as well as uh, letting people know that it's in there, uh, that, that the um, presentation is online, then they'll have a few nights to be able to go back and, and take a look. And watch it, yeah. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I, think, I think it makes a ton of sense, so hopefully uh, something good happens there. Mm -hmm. We are flying along, like, as promised. Um, so, Carol, before, we, we've got one more thing that we need to talk about, and uh, so I'll, I'll just intro it, and then maybe you can uh, go through what the issue is. But. Um, this is with respect to a new item for the agenda tonight that uh, was posted uh, earlier today, I think. So, uh, or it's just new business, just one, one piece of business, which is on, um, well, why don't you, you, you want to introduce it? Yes, but did you want to take a, did the board intend to take a vote on the uh, report on the warrant article, the zoning amendment? Oh. Did you, I don't know if you, do, uh, do you intend to? Sure. We, you want to you want to vote on the report itself? Is that what you? Yeah. Well, you left it open, so I didn't know if that was your intention. I don't know that you absolutely have to. I don't think we need to. Took a vote on your action. Right. Yeah, I think we're okay. okay. I, I think I think sure. yeah. I don't okay. think we need to approve the the. Okay. The report. I don't think we've done that. So this is the Verizon. Verizon. Okay. Um, Verizon has applied for equipment on a, I'm going to forget the street address, um, it's the Greater Boston Motorsports Building, oh, yeah. and you probably recall that the town meeting amended the zoning bylaw so that wireless antenna installations now go before the Zoning Board of Appeals, but that because this, EDR. yeah, and because this property is subject to uh, two EDRs just for its general business, but also several EDRs for prior wireless antenna. It's, com it's coming back to the ARB. Actually, actually, I think the reason it's coming back to us is, is it's because it's a structure on a building on Mass Ave. Just to, just this to be has clear. been very convoluted. No, this is, so thank this you is, for this is, where, yes, because to me that's important. <laughs> um, Essentially, one of the things we're trying to do tonight is we're going to extend the time at which the application, this application was actually presented um, a couple months ago, and there's been quite a bit of back and forth in the background as to whether this was opening an old special permit mm -hmm. or a, it was going to be subject to a new uh, special permit. Uh, and if a new special permit, would it be heard by the Arlington Community Development Board or the ZBA? So <clears throat> what... Uh, what, what finally transpired is is that it was determined that it would be a new um, permit and we would not be opening up one of the old ones because the old ones were done by the less ease themselves. So this is a new wireless uh, company that wants to put an equipment on this particular building. So it didn't make sense to open up one of the old special permits with one of the old wireless companies. 
So then they came down to yours truly saying, but it's a new special permit, and therefore, therefore it shouldn't be before the redevelopment board. And it was determined, well, yes, but, because it is on Mass Ave, and it's a, a structure being uh, changed on Mass Ave, then it is subject to the EDR, like anything else that's on Mass Ave. So, uh, Marlis is back uh, <laughs> for, for this one. Um, and so, and now, Carol, I'll leave it to you. So we needed to, the letter I signed earlier was in respect of... Um, Extending the period by which the board has to act on the application. Because they applied so long ago, there is a Federal Communications Commission, they call it the shot clock, um, by which um, local authorities have to act. And it's, um, you know that we have statutory terms by which we have to act under Mass General Law Chapter 4D, A Section 9. But this is taken very seriously. The FCC shot clock is taken very seriously. So this is a, um, a request or an agreement Agreed. to extend yeah. that period. Um, the board will open the hearing on June 2nd. And this extension requests that the board make its determination by June 16th. Now, you will probably get a lot of information that will help you deliberate. Um, worst case, I think this is really outside, but worst case, let's say you don't have enough information. You could at that time ask the applicant if he wishes to further extend to allow you to look at additional information that could potentially be favorable to his client, or you could offer to make a decision even if you cannot make a favorable decision based on limited information. So you can act, and I think at that point you'll, you'll have options, you know, depending on the um, interests of the um, applicant. If the applicant just absolutely wants that action, that vote, whether it's a denial or not, you can do that. If at that time you feel like you need more information, the um, representative for Verizon could ask you further extent. Yeah, and given the timeline that we're looking at, I mean, obviously, I think Carol's going to work very closely with them on getting us a package as, as uh, um, meaty as, as, as we can with as much information as we can. And, you know, possibly at, at least giving the, the applicant uh, staff's concerns with the application so that they can kind of have a heads up on it. So a uh, question on the um, opening the hearing on June 7th. Is second. That, second. Is that a not later than? A, so could we conceivably start it earlier? or? I think we went with date certain. A date certain. Okay, that makes sense. And then we would have to render a decision by the 16th? The 14th. Uh, 16th or the 14th? The 16th. Two okay. weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah, there was uh, quite a bit of back and forth. So, it took a little while. Uh, so, I don't, do we need a, a, a vote in support of this? I mean, it's really important. I don't think it's creative. creative. I don't think you can because it's new business. Uh, it's not on the agenda. Did you update the agenda? I did not. Oh, you did not. Okay. Okay. I thought I thought we had. Um, okay. So I don't think we. I don't. It's a letter that already went out, right? Uh, it's about it's about on its way. It's, about to. it's and just it's going to be. Um, it's going to be uh, noticed and um, advertised. So. Yeah. The hearing. As usual. If yeah. if anything, it's a benefit to us because we sure. are able to. Yeah. And hopefully we'll be done with town meeting by then. One hopes. That's one, one reason hopes. why we scheduled That's why we did June 2nd. That's why I thought. <laughs> so, okay. All right. So that's that's Verizon. And then lastly, um, I think, are the minutes from March 31st. Which are voluminous. I'm going to start the other side. Oops. <laughs> Andy? Uh, I do not have any comments on these. 
Okay. I have a couple. Down at the bottom of page one, uh, that last paragraph there, the first sentence should go with the preceding paragraph. What's that? Where it says, this Patsyatlo responded that there would not be a replacement. Uh, yeah, that's what you're saying. And then where it says, Thuja Green Giant Arbor Vitae, that should be a new paragraph. And I can't read my own handwriting here, but I think I said, uh, in front of that it should say, with reference to the exhaust pipe, Right before, um, right before Thuja. Okay. I, I think we could clear that we're shifting gears there. <clears throat> and then toward the end of that paragraph, I think I would swap the sentences where I say where it says the exhaust is eight feet tall, and uh, Ms. Potsiato explained the arborvitae could grow to fifty feet tall. Just switch those. Just switch those two. And this may or may not be something to add in, but during the discussion of the shield on the light, uh, Jake did get up and speak for a few minutes about the feasibility of that, and that's not referenced in the minutes, as far as I can tell. I don't know if we wanted to say anything about what he had to say. He was referenced in here somewhere. Yeah, we'll see later yeah. on. It's a, about uh, six or seven six. paragraphs down, Andrew, and... Um, he was asked for a commitment from Arlington 360 to put a shield on the street light. Okay. But Mr. Upton declined to commit due to the liability and life safety. Okay. I think that's that's yes. right. Okay. Yeah. I think the time of light was confused, but that's fine. That's it. So I had a few comments on the documents used. I changed a few of the names and the dates, I think. Some of them were off. I was looking at the packet that we had, and I could give you this instead of having you write it, but I could read it once. Well, first, the fourth line. Did you mean to say pro-con up, updated plan or undated plan? Undated. Undated? You meant it to be undated. Uh, it was undated. I marked it with that. From, it was from a meeting, but it was undated. So if you want me to just okay. leave out any reference to a date? But that was confusing. Uh, undated plan for yeah, 17. The meeting. clues, we're trying to leave breadcrumbs for someone to yeah. find these documents. You later. could say undated, that's fine. So, that's whatever fine. you think would help future generations. <laughs> okay. Undated is fine then. And then the next line Blair Hines design revised, I think if we say colored planting plan L5.0, and I can give you this again, um, would be helpful because she had some colored plans, like one was up on the board and then she f changed out another colored plan. There were two plant schedules, one dated January 2014 and one dated March 25th, 2014. Whatever you think. So, I have a few changes The names like were that. all very similar. So, whatever okay. you think Just to help best. people find them again. I went through them, just Did, I, I, I thought there were the more than I don't think the section mentioned in here either, and I know there was that color illustrated section. Yeah, you have it under Distributed existing conditions photos dated March 31st. We could say photos and sections. Or no, maybe it's, yeah, I think that's where it was. I think that's what it was under. And then I added the CPA flyer because we use that also, right? Mm -hmm. Dated February 2014. So then I had a few just small things, um, and again, I could give them to you. Down under the third paragraph, um, Mr. Holland starts that paragraph, and item number three, um, I have written in landscape add exhaust pipe. I don't know what it said originally. I had it wrong. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. But I, I, I edited it right in there, so I can't see what it said. Landscape exhaust. Yeah. Landscape so, at exhaust. At exhaust. Pipe. Pipe. Now you want the word pipe. Then the next paragraph, the Blair Hines design, revised planting plans dated, that one should be March 24th, not the 31st, is what I had. And the next 
one should say the March 25th, not the 24th. There were, there were two dated things, but that one was the 25th one, I think. It was really confusing, all the different dated items. So strike March 31st, add March 24th, and then the 24th turns into the 25th? Yes. And then on the next page, if we go past the green arborvitaes, one, two, three, four, the fifth paragraph down that starts Ms. Sapinski. Instead of saying Ms. Sapinski said those steps were preferable, I think we should spell it out. Ms. Sapinski said that Mr. Holland's proposed measures for painting the van and adding light shields were preferable. Preferable. Proposed steps? Proposed steps, proposed measures, yeah, either one. Measures for painting the van? For painting the van and adding light shields. And then one, two, three, four paragraphs down. The Was first. preferable over cramming in? Is that? Yeah, the rest of it's fine. So those, oh, one second. Or preferable over cramming in. Okay. I could send this actually, like I did the other one, to um, to Amy. To Amy. Okay. That'd be great. If that's the easiest way, to, it's easier for me to type it than to try to read my writing. Sure. If I have <laughs> any comments. That's fine. That'd be great. So then, um, one, two, three, four paragraphs down. Mr. Fitzsimmons said he still had a problem with. I think we should say the realigned parking space in the entry. So we know which parking space we were referring to. Okay. And then the last sentence, he felt that this change was not insubstantial and that the abutter has not had an opportunity to comment, should be added, during the 100% design review. Then one, two, three, four paragraphs down from that. Begins with Mr. Holland, then offered mm -hmm. to move the parking space. This would also be for snow storage. Mr. Holland referenced, I want to add in an alternate colored plan sheet L5.0 that removed the parking space and replaced it with a plant bed. And I'll give you this that has the five crab apple trees and additional plantings. That's good. Just to spell out, because there were so many mm -hmm. plans floating around. Yeah, no, that's great. To make sure we nail the right plan. Yeah, yeah that's helpful. Yep. Katja noted on this plan to replace the holly with arborvitae at the van parking space. Just to make sure it's clear. Good. When it comes back, we'll know, which, because we'll be confused. Ah. Okay, and then one, two, three more paragraphs down. That starts with Mr. Kerr. Did I see your name right? Kerr. Yeah. Kerr. Yeah. Uh, after the March 24th date, I wanted to add in with the changes shown for the removal of the parking space on the Blair Hines design. I'm sorry, so that's after the March 31st, or is it after, after the or March 24th? Oh, okay. Instead of and, been presented on March 24th with the changes shown for the removal of the parking space. And I don't have anything until you go down to. Um, we're talking about the 360 items, that list of one through seven. I don't know if we want to catch all of the stuff that was on the list, because this just missed one or two of them. You know, he gave us that mm -hmm. handout of the list. I don't know how important that is, but I've added on um, a few things that were missed. Yeah, I guess I was... We're going to include sure. that did sheet, we go, so... I don't, yeah, I don't know... We did we, go through them all. We did? Like number five, removal of erosion controls, and I specifically asked about the repairs and cleanup to the Vista Park. So I wanted to say in repairs and cleanup to the Vista Park. I, I would suggest that since this wasn't a motion and yeah, we it seemed a little specific. We don't need to uh, um, okay. strike it. And I, I, I think we don't need the whole thing. We probably don't need the list at no, all. No, that's what I'm yeah. saying. I, I, and I don't like that they problems. all added up to a hundred thousand. I mean, that was just back of the envelope. So maybe we can strike relevant. the one through eight completely, right? Yeah, I think you can just lose that whole paragraph. Yeah, we have the document. Yeah. Okay. Said that we used it, so. 
Okay, and then one, two, three, four down where it says Mr. Upton reported, mm -hmm. the town historian, Richard Duffy. Um, I wanted to add at the end of that, um, after Old Hospital, and he will be bringing it to the board for review, because I think he specifically said that he's going to be bringing something to us, that he's proposed a new idea, and he's going to bring it. And then one of the last paragraphs. Bless you. Bless you. It starts with Ms. Sapinski. Um, Always does. <laughs> I remember what I said. Huh? That's about all I remember. I remember when it's not what I said, <laughs> or if it's not clear. Um, so the last sentence. Uh, I wanted to insert another sentence before the last sentence that began with it. I wanted to say it was decided that schools would be shown on a map for reference only and 500 foot buffered areas would not be shown. Because that was what mm -hmm. we kind of discussed for yeah. ad nauseum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's all. That's important. Good. Well, I also did what Christine did and I put together my <laughs> marked up version of it. And I can actually pass this out so you guys can follow along. Oh, that would um, be helpful. It is hard to follow when there's... Yeah, so, and I, some of the comments I made, Christine has picked up on already. Um, but on the first page, uh, with the listing of the five items that David Holland was going to talk about, on the second one where it says, stamp concrete of drop-off area, mm -hmm. I think it, if we went to at drop-off area, it reads a little better. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll see I made a couple suggested clarifications in the paragraph that follows the numbered paragraphs. It basically says the Blair Hines designed revised planning plans, and I defer to Christine on the dates of the plans because I'm as confused as all of us are on that. But I'm just saying that it shows one additional crab apple tree. It was noted that three trees were lost <coughs> due to the relocation of parking spaces in the, in the courtyard area and that the single tree is being added back to reduce the net loss of trees to two. Um, over on to the middle of the next page, I know that somebody, I know that I broached the idea about shields on the streetlight, but I don't know if I was the one that was pressing for a commitment, but that could have been Christine or it might have been Mike. Um, I, yeah, so. Um, we, we can blame me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It could have been me, I don't um, remember. And then I'm going to skip down to I the second to last paragraph on my printout of this that's, uh, that starts, Mr. Fitzsimmons thought it might not be visible, etc. I just wanted to add a sentence, because I think Mike said this, that on the original approved plans, it didn't call for siding at that location. Um, and I'm saying that you recalled, and I'm yeah, saying yeah, that you exactly. said that that was definitely what the plan said, but that that was That's sort of recollection. your recollection. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because we kind of bring that up in the minutes, but then when we get to the vote, we don't talk about that. So I just wanted to let people who read this in the future uh, understand that why we didn't talk about it. On to the next page. Um, now we're talking about uh, tax uh, presentation. And I just wanted, in that fourth paragraph, to explain a little bit more what a chicane was. Um, and it looked like the using Brighton Street has a local example that is tagged into the next paragraph about the split entry really belonged with the chicane, because that's where the chicane is in, in Belmont on Brighton Street, not the split entry. And then um, I also wanted to add to where uh, I cut, I, thank TAC, but then also I did ask why the bike zing signage on the Mill Street pavement was being eliminated, and Scott indicated that the town engineer thought it wasn't going to fit in the available pavement and still be noticed by um, uh, drivers. A little farther down the page, I'm fine with taking out the 1 through 7, but I think it's important to note that we're not increasing the $100,000 escrow, we're just adding some additional items that are within the scope of the escrow so the funds don't get released until 
of Beyond the Subjects document are addressed. Um, on the next page with Susan Stamps, just a sort of a typo, I think the next item the board discussed was not with the Community Preservation Act, at, Act and then uh, the following paragraph I think was a little vague unless you supply the underlined app, um, wording that Mr. Kerr's question was on the surcharge of reported documents. That's it. That all looks good. Mm -hmm. um, and I can send that to you electronic and to Amy electronically as well. And we then Amy can it. fight between Christine's version and my version. I think they're the same. They together. actually they mesh well. Yeah, they do yeah, mesh they well. Do. Yeah. There's just we a, come in on different things, actually. There's <laughs> just a couple items that I had um, where on right above the numbered list from uh, from J to one through seven. Um, the sentence above that where it said the board turned to Arlington 360 referencing. I think what I would say there is the board turned to Arlington 360 and discussed instead of referencing. Because that way we get kind of the fact that we're discussing it. Um, then we're losing the, the numbers, uh, the numbered uh, uh, itemized uh, list there. Uh, and then we've got Bruce's. Right underneath that, uh, it says, uh, Mr. Kerr asked the board to review the matrices that Mr. Upton handed out. Actually, you handed them out. Ms. Kowalski, we used yours. And that's, a, <coughs> that's actually important. So that's, that's, our, that's our list from uh, Foley Hill. While we're on that list, that list looked identical to the January list. When I went to it was. Take it, a look. It Is was it supposed essentially. to be the same? Well, okay. <coughs> weren't more items couple, done? Uh, well, I mean, some of the traffic stuff was. I thought I thought the stop sign had changed. There might have been one or two. Maybe. Okay. I mean, the punch list is the punch list. they got to get it done. And, you know, they've been waiting for warm weather for mm. since we last looked at it. It's the problem. Right. Um, and then on the next page, um, where it says uh, Ms. Spinsky began a discussion on the 500-foot buffer, um, I actually added to the beginning of that. The board then discussed the board's presentation to town meeting, period. It just needs something to say why, I began this why, why <laughs> Christine started talking about a 500-foot buffer. Um, and then the only other change I had was the sentence right after that where it says the board asked Christine Bongiorno to comment. Um, I think, you know, we didn't ask her, she wasn't here. Uh, so I think what I would say is the board suggested that Christine Bongiorno should comment on the state's permitting process during the presentation. You. Yeah, sure. Sorry, start that one over sure. Here, so, so it's the board suggested. Christine Bajorno should comment on the state's permitting during the presentation. And you can leave the as well. That's fine. I just wanted to say, I think that's what we were talking about, if I, if I recall, is that we thought that, that she should get up there and talk about what the health regs are like. Should we also indicate Christine's office? Yeah, too? I was thinking that was the yeah, other thing. Yeah. Just so, director of health and human services. Yeah. Public. No, it's actually the director. No, it's actually the director. That's the official. Yeah. Okay. And I actually wanted the HHS, <laughs> not to be confused with the other. Um, or I guess that's secretary. Uh, I. I think that's it. That's a lot, Carol. So Christine and, and Bruce are going to get them to you electronically. We appreciate that. You want them to go just to Amy or to you and Amy? Amy's fine. Amy's fine? Okay. I'll let her know. <laughs> She'll I'll show them know. to me afterwards anyway. Okay. And then, uh, so I think we're ready for uh, uh, a motion on the minutes as amended. I move to approve the minutes as amended. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.
Um, anything else? From okay. I think so. We've got 20 minutes. Uh, no, we've got <laughs> no more minutes. <laughs> well, we can sit here and look at each other, or I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for the vote.